A year ago, AI video looked something like this. It was pretty terrible, and there was a lot of fragmenting and glitches along the way. It was very easy to tell that this was AI. But what about this video? OpenAI has a new text-to-video model, meaning you type in a prompt, people walking through a snowy Japan, and this is what you get. And this isn't the only example. Moist Critical responded to another one saying, I'm struggling to think of a single positive thing making realistic AI-generated photos like this will bring. It's all just net negative and dystopian. And when I saw this, I thought, there's no shot this is AI, unless you look really closely. A year ago, we were laughing because every AI photo had these weird, creepy hands. But now I'm scared that there's going to be videos of me online shaking around my pee-pee. And it's going to be really hard to tell my grandma, uh, that's not me, trust me, it's not me. Mine's smaller. Now, I made this tweet like an idiot saying, this would be kind of crazy for B-roll. Uh, watch collection, car collection, stonks going up. I think that this would be an insane tool if I wanted to be super productive. However, there's a lot of comments that completely disagree with any sentiment that is positive towards this sort of AI. Honestly, this guy kind of dunked on me saying, do you even know how these AI tools are used? What they could do? You're a father. You have small children. Don't you understand that they could use that to generate images and photos? And it got me thinking, this is actually very scary. Now, I know technology can be used to increase production. Even with my comments about B-roll, it would make it more efficient for me to make YouTube videos. However, there is a downside. AI is using other people's art, and instead of learning how to draw kind of like PewDiePie did, you can just type things in and get art that is going to look much better than anything you could do without years of practice. That being said, it's stolen. It's other people's art that's being reused or rehashed to make new product. And to be honest, I did try it for a couple Diablo thumbnails, but that barbarian is essentially stolen artwork. And so where do we draw the line? How do we legislate this? But it doesn't just stop with art. It's actually expanding into some areas you might not realize. Now, if you wanted to code or program, you might have to go to something like Harvard or take a 24-hour course online. But now, some basic coding can be used just using ChatGPT. Initially, this wasn't that great, but as people used it, made mistakes, fixed those mistakes, and continued to use it, the AI began to learn. And the base level of coding that ChatGPT can do is getting insane. So I asked my cousin, who is a high-up game dev at a studio, is this going to replace people? Yep, it's already happening. People are getting fired because instead of hiring a bunch of basic coders, they can just hire one really good guy to check over all the ChatGPT work hypothetically. They can go over all the code that's been written automatically by AI and say, yep, that's good enough, which is crazy. This game is called Vampire Survivors. The graphics are pretty basic, the premise is pretty basic, and I can imagine it would be very easy in the near future to use something like ChatGPT to code this game. As long as you could do the art and you had a way to publish it yourself or get it onto Steam, you could make your own video game. And I wouldn't be shocked if people could turn around games like this, this quality, in days instead of months or years. However, if the average person could make Risk of Rain, then Risk of Rain 2 with the 3D models may be the new base level of video game. Meaning it's more accessible, which leads to competition, which leads to better products. Hypothetically, better movies, better games, better things will be made because of AI. But there's always going to be some sort of cost. And usually it's going to be the human cost their livelihood, and their jobs. So if AI is good enough to make video like this, if it's able to code games, if it's able to make photorealistic things of me with my shirt off actually having a six pack, then there's a lot of potential for AI for the future. But is it good? Well, when the Model T came out, people were saying it was just a fad and that horse and buggy would always dominate because it could make its way through the mud and the snow because it's a horse, right? Well, then the horse power started to increase, and now everyone is driving cars. 
And I mean, back in the day, car factories had hundreds and hundreds of people that worked in them. If you go look at Detroit or Windsor, where there was a ton of car manufacturing back in the day, their economy has been completely shattered because a lot of the people got replaced with robots. They don't need the people because the robots are better at the job. So what happens with artists, musicians, all these different people that are seemingly going to be getting replaced by AI? Jay Schlatt and other YouTubers have multiple AI songs coming out using their voice. And there's even deepfakes of him making extremely suspect jokes, and there's nothing he can really do about it. Movie studios will probably replace camera crews and production crews because they can just film stuff like this. And this is the earliest models that they have. It's only going to get better. People are going to lose their jobs. It's terrifying. It's terrible. But the future is probably not going to stop it from happening. I cannot imagine this slows down because there's too many huge companies that are going to abuse it. Unfortunately, the world is corrupt and big companies want to maximize profits. If they can reduce and remove hundreds if not thousands of jobs, they will do it. Here's some proof. Embracer Group is a publicly traded company that has bought a bunch of different game studios. And after laying off 1,400 people, they said, our overruling principle is to always maximize shareholder value. Ugh, it's sickening. So do you not think that Embracer Group is going to go, hey, let's fire a few more and replace them with AI. That's way easier. Call centers and customer service, AI. Coding, movies, music, video games, everything is going to be goddamn AI. In fact, this is an AI photo of me trying to find a snack out of my fridge. It, it's not actually, though. I'm, I'm just kidding. But you can imagine it will be able to do that soon. Oh my god, is that a woolly mammoth? No? It's a bunch of robots and AI and the world is doomed? Okay. This technology is most likely only going to continue and get even better. If I was a musician or an artist and that's what my bills were paid on, I'd be scared. But heck, Maybe even I'll get replaced. There's already people like Quebblecop doing it right now. Quebblecop has already made his own AI model and is making AI videos right now. Automated, fully automated videos of himself. And arguably they're pretty trash, but they could get better. Art, music, YouTube videos like this. I think people digest them partly for the soul behind it. If the robots have no soul and they're just leeching and stealing all this information to spit out something new, maybe it doesn't have the appeal of a real person sitting down and talking to you or showing you that amazing piece of art. But what happens when we cannot tell the difference? It's kind of dystopian, kind of creepy. But unfortunately, I think that it is coming sooner than you might think.